We're following several developing headlines across Kelloland at 5. First tonight, a Nebraska man is charged in connection with the burning of a missing Yankton woman's car. You'll recall authorities found 59-year-old Phyllis Hunhoff dead inside her car on the Santee Sioux Indian Reservation in northern Nebraska. 47-year-old Joseph Lloyd James is charged with arson, but authorities believe he set fire to her car. Kelloland's Don Jorgensen joins us with breaking details. Well, Brady, according to court papers that were just unsealed today and obtained by Kelloland News, James is seen on surveillance video at the gas station at the Ohio Casino and getting out of Hunhoff's white 2001 Honda Accord at 3.10 in the morning to pump gas. At 5.51 in the morning, the surveillance video shows James returning to the same gas station where he pumps $2.11 worth of gas in what appears to be a one-liter soda bottle. Court papers say that he went inside to pay, and he told the gas station attendant that he had blood on his T-shirt from a deer that he had hit near Crofton, Nebraska. At 7.30 in the morning, James stopped at a house on the reservation asking for directions. And when interviewed by authorities, that person indicated that she didn't know James, but gave him a fresh T-shirt. So investigators were able to get a hold of that of his blood-stained T-shirt and had it tested for DNA, which they say matched Hunhoff's DNA. James was taken into custody on Monday. He appeared in federal court this afternoon. Hunhoff had been reported missing by her family on November 4th. No other information is being released at this time. We're going to stay